Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. It's good to be back actually. And we have a tier list for June 2022. Without further ado, let's move on to the tier list. Okay, guys, so we'll start off with the beginner tier. So no new uh, changes for the beginner tier. I just want to see Rico, Midori, Ophelia, again, Ryoma to, you know, have a small rework probably so that they can be used. They're probably, they're probably trash after you started the game. So you can't use them as much as you'd like to. So that is my gripe for the beginner tier. Next is for the mid game. Mid game um significant re vasili yuna and sanada you can probably stretch them out to kind of you know push them a little bit if you don't have that much figures but definitely they're just there for the mid game next is going to be the two specialized tier we're gonna be having also no change by the way so you have suzumi akechi mitsuhide norris um Astaroth, Yamazaki, and Camille. I think the one that I'm looking at for potential here is going to be Suzumi, of course. Um, and also I'm looking at I've used Norris quite a bit in some of the stages, but that's it in terms of potential. But they're too specialized again that they're still stuck here unless that they have um, synergy with new figures coming in in the future then they might go up okay next is the good figures so this is our next tier so you have here a no change as well vivian um definitely here alfred um mizuki uh she, she's good uh, not really that great. Um, could be up, but right now she's there. Sani, by the way, has the potential of going up because with our synergy with Crucell, as we go along, as we have more stages, then we will probably re-examine Sani on how she is performing. Is she valuable? Because right now, the synergy of her and Crucell is really impressive, especially in the harder stages that we have. Right now, they can really suppress mobs easily. Next is Ozuke, uh, Usuke Okada. Usuke, yeah, good. Zaoyu, good. Third third best healer, probably. Yoko is here, and Zaoyun is here. Zaoyun, if he had more you know, DPS, then he would go above good figures. But right now, there are better, you know, um, better vanguards than him. So we move on to the next. So we have your above average figures. I have recently um, found out that Aoi can be valuable in the new um, content that um, they brought in. Um, she is going to be one of your MVPs for, for survivability. Aside from Zuki Liang, she can be very, very good. So I'm putting her above average at this point based on the new content um, for uh, the faction-based content that we have recently. So that is it for Aoi. Um, try to level her up if you have, you know, if you can probably bring her above five-star Peach. She is definitely a monster on survivability. Next, you have Xantha Kane built well. She is really a monster in dealing um, damage to bosses. Uh, Erens Embers, again, a very good support for a single tank or a single vanguard. Mako here, our second best healer, and Vazarin here um, to round out our uh, above average figure. So Vazarin is here actually because there are a lot better AOE, you know, damage dealers on top. So let's see who they are. So nearly at the top, we have two new um, figures here that dropped a couple of weeks ago. So Crocell, obviously Crocell 
is has more potential than we thought she had. I'm looking at her to go up one tier in the future, depending again on how we're going to be clearing stages in the future again. So we'll see. We'll see. Right now, my best placement for her is nearly at the top. I still have to do a lot more playtests with her and next is izumi as well as izumi she is actually classified as one of the best defenders in the japanese server but at this point um still doing a lot of uh, play testing for her in our server i'm putting her her at nearly the top definitely she'll be going up eventually so for these two Please do give me your comments. Um, should they be here at the nearly at the top tier or should they go up? Either one of them, Izumi or Croselt. So to round out the nearly at the top, you have Ayakino. I found out as well that um, she is a supplementary militarist at, uh, at best for DPS. But, you know, her debuffs are interesting. Next is Harriet. Uh, I cannot stress her importance in boss stages. You have to level her up. Lubu is here. Chow Chow. I need to get copies of him in the future to build him up. A lot of people have been saying to use him, but I only have him at one star peach. That is why I haven't used him well. Uh, Rin and Crusus is here to round out the nearly at the top. Okay, so... The last tier is the best figures for the game. So I'm just going to minimize this to 70%. Okay, not 70, uh, 65. Okay, so as you can see, Rimuru, forgive me for those who, who, you know, who told me that he should be on top. Well, you have proven me right, and I was wrong. I I created a monster, actually, out of Rimuru. So, <clears throat> right now, he, my build for him is extremely very good in surviving, you know, front lines already. And I think he's, the, he's one of the best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I put him at nearly at the top. So, Milim is here. <clears throat> Sakura, Ayane, Hatsune Miko, Erixia, Zuki Liang, Zephyr, Zarola, and Megan. Take note, in the future months, I see a dip for Zarola already in terms of DPS. Um, I, I think she will be replaced by Crusell eventually. That is just my opinion. What do you think? Zarola will be dipping. She... Her role in terms of DPS um, is good for now, but um, I think Crusell will overtake her if you have them both at equal levels. Okay, that's 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 actually my sense, my take on it, because I've seen stages where Crusell will dominate instead of Zerula. Probably, probably just uh, something that is. Um, what they call this that is uh depending on the scenario but again what i see i see crusell overtaking zorola in the future so that is it so for i i i've also seen in the comments that uh, crusell has little damage but her damage over time and her freeze that is actually also one of the things that i like about her kit so this is your new tier list, guys, for June. So we have two new um, Izumi Crusell. We have four movements, which is highlighted in yellow. And this tier list, I'll put a link in the description so that you may have a quick reference of this tier list that I made. So anyway, guys, again, if you have comments and suggestions, please feel free to put them down in the comments section below. And... Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.